In the headlines, over $5 million paid out to homeowners in Wesley as government progresses on the International Airport Development Project. A new CEO has been announced for the Climate Resilience Execution Agency of Dominica Creed and a renewed call to Dominicans to get vaccinated as the country looks to boost its economy and return to normalcy. I'm Andrea Louis with the Channel 5 News, back with the details after this. Your old tablet? That's so 2020. Get a Samsung A7 tablet from Pro for only $99 when you sign up for a new all-in or all-in plus bundle. Enjoy faster broadband speeds to surf and stream, more TV channels in HD to stay entertained, and unlimited flow-to-flow fix minutes to stay in touch with everyone you love. So sign up today for a new bundle from Flow. Visit discoverflow.co for more information. Terms and conditions apply. Stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always-on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up. Switch to Flow. It only gets better. Thank you for staying with us. First up, a reminder to the Dominican public to get on board with the country's national vaccination program as Dominica seeks to reopen its borders to more visitors. The renewed call from Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt over the weekend. Mr. Skerritt commended those who have already received the first dose of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, which was gifted to the people of Dominica from the government and the people of India. The Prime Minister went on to explain why it is important for those who are reluctant to get the vaccine to join the national effort as the country explores ways to boost the economy in the near future. While we have been very encouraged for the large part in the participation of our people, we still find that there, is a significant, there are significant pockets of vaccine hesitancy among many people. Taking the vaccine is not only significant for everyone's personal health and well-being, but it is also crucial in helping us to achieve the goal of fully reopening the economy and returning to a semblance of social and economic normalcy. The Prime Minister went on to note that the tourism sector will be heavily dependent on the number of people who have been vaccinated in the country. As a matter of fact, the cruise ships are inquiring as to how many people have taken the vaccines in Dominica as, they, as part of their planning of the return of cruise ships to our region. And that is suspect may very well be a prerequisite of the coming in to our jurisdictions. Mr. Skerritt reiterated the best way to return to normalcy and fight the pandemic is to achieve herd immunity through the vaccination program. While we have kept the numbers of infections relatively low, this pandemic has had a devastating effect on livelihoods and has set us back in our development goals. Our best chance at return to normalcy is through more than 70% of our population being inoculated. There continues to be a lot of rumor and false reports circulating about the vaccine. None of them borne out by any data or any objective reality. The safety of the vaccines available to us has been firmly established and the rollout of the processes across many nations, including our own, has indeed, has indeed been a smashing success. As of Friday, 12th March, the total number of people in Dominica who had received the first dose of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine was 13,916. In more top stories, Dominica's six-month-old Safe in Nature program is being hailed a success. 
The Safe in Nature program came on stream in October 2020 as a means to cater to visitors from high-risk countries who wanted to have a managed tourism experience in Dominica. Speaking on the Prime Minister's Anu Pale program on Sunday, Director of Tourism Colin Piper says in its six months of existence, the program has been extremely well received by both locals and visitors. In terms of the program, PM, um, we believe it's been successful. All right, both in terms of the compliance by the properties and also in terms of the feedback by the, by the visitors. And just to give you some, some, some stats, so to speak, um, we started the program officially in right about October 1. And we've had about 82 properties that have submitted an action plan. We've approved 68 of those. Currently, 65 of those are operating. And um, that is because we received some reports, did some spot checks, um, and revoked some certifications um, because of evidence of some breaches. To date, 65 properties are operating under the Safe in Nature program, and the country has welcomed over 1,000 visitors through the Safe in Nature initiative. Of those 65 properties, 27 are doing water-based off-property um, activities and 31 are doing off-property land-based. So your water-based, as you mentioned, would be scuba diving at uh, Sufria Scott's Head mm -hmm. Marine or, um, you know, um, and your land base would be things like going to Emerald Pool, Middleham, or, or, or the YT Kubuli National Trail. Um, we also, you mentioned taxis, we also have 47 taxi, taxi um, drivers certified, safe in nature. And uh, since October 1, we, we have had 1,678 visitors from high-risk classified countries come and stay at certified properties. So um, the program has, has been successful. The collaborative effort between the Ministries of Health and Tourism and the monitoring practices utilized by the two are key in ensuring the safety of both visitors and locals. Day 5 PCR is done on property okay. and that is done by an independent health team. And so we liaise with the health team as well, have com conversations, and if they mention to us certain things that they see, then we make sure we do a spot check. In other developments, over $5 million paid out to residents of Wesley as government moves forward with its international airport development project. The construction of the International Airport in Wesley means the relocation of several residents as the land required for this project consists of both residential and agricultural lands. Discussions with property owners have been successful to date and that aspect of the project is progressing smoothly. Member of Parliament for the Wesley constituency, Fidel Grant, says significant sums of money have been paid out to both homeowners and crop farmers in order to keep the project moving. We have made considerable strides in the negotiation and settlement phase of the residents who have homes and are being affected. We have paid in excess of $5 million to homeowners and over $300,000 to crop farmers. We continue with the reallocation of lands for farmers which continue, who continue sorry, to farm and who wish to venture into agriculture. Mr. Grant promised Dominicans that preliminary works on the International Airport Development Project will get underway in the near future. Ladies and gentlemen, my constituents, I say to you that not too long from now, we shall see the movement of soil, we shall see construction and we shall again gather on the soil here in Wesley for the construction of our international airport. You are watching the Channel 5 News. Stay tuned for more after the break. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. 
plus the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new All In Bundle. With Flow, it only gets better. Your old tablet? That's so 2020. Get a Samsung A7 tablet from Flow for only $99 when you sign up for a new All In or All In Plus bundle. Enjoy faster broadband speeds to surf and stream, more TV channels in HD to stay entertained, and unlimited flow to flow fix minutes to stay in touch with everyone you love. So sign up today for a new bundle from Flow. Visit discoverflow.co for more information. Terms and conditions apply. Welcome back. The Cabinet of Dominica has announced a new Chief Executive Officer of the Climate Resilience Execution Agency of Dominica, Creed. Former Foreign Affairs Minister Francine Barron, who also served as Attorney General, was announced as CEO of Creed recently. The recruitment process was handled by the recruitment firm LCI based in Barbados. According to a press release from the Cabinet Office, LCI advertised the position of CEO for Creed and applications from a total of 96 applicants was received. They reviewed and shortlisted six candidates, four of whom were required to undergo various assessments, including an interview process. Ms. Francine Barron was selected as the top candidate and her appointment as CEO for Creed took effect on 1st March. She replaces Dr. Pepper Kuye Badwill, who left the position in July last year. The CEO's term runs until the end of the Creed program in December 2022. And the brand new health center has been opened in the community of Wesley. The health and wellness center has been named after retired nurse and native of Wesley, Imelda James, for her 41-year contribution to the nursing profession. During the official opening ceremony on Friday, Principal Nursing Officer Terulia Ravalier said Mrs. James's exemplary dedication to the job makes her the ideal person after whom the facility should be named. Mrs. James is an exemplary force within this community. She has been a blessing to the people that she served and has given of herself to make her community a better and healthier place. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and New Health Investment, on behalf of the Government of the Commonwealth of Dominica, on this day, March 12, 2021, hereby declare that the new Wesley Health Project manager for MMCE says the health and wellness centers will help to bring in a new era of healthcare in Dominica. As you are all aware, the government of Dominica has made it a solid mission not to only reshape but transform the healthcare system in Dominica. These remarkable structures you see in front of you will facilitate a new era of healthcare and wellness in Dominica. It is because of this that I am really pleased to present each individual center to the people of Dominica and urge them to continue to celebrate every advancement of this beautiful country. The, center, the composition of this state of art health and wellness centers will showcase the use of reinforced concrete structure and are all costumed with impact resistant windows. Equipped, of course, with all necessary facilities from doctors, nurses, offices, clinics, pharmacies, fully fitted with all necessary equipment for your daily routine checkups and the living quarters for the nurses upstairs. I would like to also add that the building has been designed to account for the elderly and the handicapped, and the handicapped sorry, conveniently. The Nurse Imelda James Health and Wellness Center is the fifth of 12 state-of-the-art health centers to be opened in the country this year. Flo 
helps you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always-on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up. Switch to Flow. It only gets better. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play, and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new All-In Bundle. With flow, it only gets better. Your old tablet? That's so 2020. Get a Samsung A7 tablet from Flo for only $99 when you sign up for a new All-In or All-In Plus bundle. Enjoy faster broadband speeds to surf and stream, more TV channels in HD to stay entertained, and unlimited flow to flow fix minutes to stay in touch with everyone you love. So sign up today for a new bundle from Flo. Visit discoverflow.co for more information. Terms and conditions apply. To end the news, the headlines again. Over $5 million paid out to homeowners in Wesley as government progresses on the International Airport Development Project. A new CEO has been announced for the Climate Resilience Execution Agency of Dominica Creed. And a renewed call to Dominican to get vaccinated as the country looks to boost its economy and return to normalcy. Feel free to access our past newscast on our YouTube channel. On behalf of the entire production team, I am Andrea Louis, and to all of our viewers around the world, thank you so much for watching. Join us tomorrow.